Alright, so I finally got to play Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 for the PS4 at Comic-Con. Now, there were two demos, one of them being a very old build, and the second one being a more recent build with Gamakishi vs. Majubi, which we've seen in the latest Naruto Storm 4 trailer. So, before I talk about that build with the Frog and Jubi, let's go to the first demo, which was Hashirama vs. Madara, the first gameplay teaser that we saw for Storm 4. Now, before I get into my first impressions for Storm 4, I want to mention that I also spoke to a representative at Bandai Namco Games, so he was able to clarify a few things to put me at ease. Now, let's begin this first impressions. The moment I laid hands on this demo with Hashirama vs Madara, I instantly started getting this love-hate relationship with the game already, and that is because the frame rate right now on this build, which was like six months old, at least that's what the representative said to me, so sometime last year, but I noticed a huge dip in the frame rate during scenes where there's a lot of things going on at once. So for a moment, it felt like it was 60 frames per second, but then again, sometimes it would dip down and I'd feel like 20 frames per second. So you'd feel this unlocked, unstable frame rate, which I am not a fan of. I don't like when frames fluctuate between 30 and 60. That's why I went ahead and asked him and he said, yes, this old build of the demo is at an unlocked frame rate, but they are trying to achieve a locked 60 frames for release. Okay, so that was pretty much the only thing that I really hated about this game so far, but of course that's subject to change on release. And because this demo is so old, we never really got to see the game changer for Storm 4, which was Tag Team. So basically what I essentially played was just a boss battle. If I had to compare it to another Storm game, I'd say it is closer to Storm Revolution than Generations or Storm 3. The gameplay feels fast and fluid when it wants to be. Same goes for the quick time events. Pretty seamless. It's actually less intrusive now. You don't see the button prompts as bad as before. Now it's just a little white spark in the middle and you press it and done. Now the graphics, that was eye candy. There were so much particles and flashing lights in the gameplay, I almost got a seizure. That shit looked so good. It almost looked like PC graphics with shitty performance. That's how I felt with the love-hate relationship. Actually, you know what? Shitty is going too far. Maybe it's just me nitpicking, but I'm so used to playing games at 60 frames per second now. When games tend to dip on frame rate, I really feel the difference and it really annoys me. So to the average consumer, and to just people that want to play the game, they might not notice it because I was the only one that complained to the person that worked with Bandai Namco Games. At least I think I was. If you were there and you played the game, do you agree with me or do you disagree? Now, to finish things up, the second demo of the new build, Gamakichi vs. Vajubi. Yes, the frame rate has improved slightly, but I still notice it's not locked at 60. In terms of gameplay, I could not care less about me playing as Gamakichi going up against Vajubi. I'm just saying, hack and slash is not really my thing, especially when you're playing as a frog. However, when I was grinding on those branches, that was pretty fun. It felt like I was playing those old Storm 1 minigames when you had to dodge stuff in order to get to the end. That was pretty cool. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. These demos were pretty old, nothing really amazing. I was really expecting Bandai Namco games to pull through and show us some tag team free battle, but nope, too early, even though the game's coming out in autumn, so whatever. Now, I feel like I didn't get the true experience from playing Storm 4 on these demos because, for one, it never had a tag team, two, I never got to play free battle, and lastly, I never got to experience any wall running, so without those free essentials, I can't really say anything right now, apart from the game looking really, really nice. Enhanced visuals, better animation, way more particles, a lot of more things going on at once. It gives the stage a more living and breathing feel to it. Especially when jutsus and attacks mash in with the stage. That is pretty cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is Shika's Clouds, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, hey.